Buying a car can be a daunting process. Which will suit your lifestyle the best? A city car, a sports car or an SUV? And then there's finance. Do you pay upfront or every month? And finally, the rather important issue of how to buy a car. Online, at a dealership, privately or at a boutique store next to a shoe shop at your local mall. Don't despair. Here to walk and talk you through some of the options is this week's Rev Test. How to buy a car. I've just arrived at this massive car supermarket, car shop in Swindon. I've come here today to see how this sort of car buying experience works for nervous car buyers like me who perhaps have only bought one or two cars in their lifetime. Also, this place won Auto Traders 2018 Retailer of the Year Award. So I'm hoping that means they'll be nice and friendly. Let's go and see. There's a huge array of cars to choose from here, which is good because it gives you plenty of choice, but it can be quite daunting if you don't know what you're looking for. The vast majority of cars are one to three years old, they don't sell new cars, and they tend to be grouped by size and shape, sometimes with a separate prestige section. Now today I've just turned up, but you can of course also book an appointment. I looked online so I've got a fairly decent idea of what I want, but if you haven't got a clue, the guys here will talk you through the options. And also if you do see a car that you like the look of, but when you arrive it's not in stock here, it's in one of their other places, they'll happily transfer it for you. If you're not sure what you're looking for, the guys here will ask you some key questions to help you decide. You can take the cars on a test drive with a customer consultant, as long as you've got your driving license. And if you don't like the car, then there's no pressure. But if you do find the car you like, you can pay cash, credit card or finance, whether that's PCP or HP. If you want to part X your car, you can have it valued and trade it in on the day. The car will come with an MOT and service and Car Shop will help you tax the car before you drive it away. They will also give you complimentary five-day insurance, subject to T's and C's. You can then drive your car home right away. Car supermarkets are used to people turning up, not knowing what they want and not knowing any of the jargon. Remember, no question is a stupid question. Of course, as ever, it's good to do your online research if possible, but otherwise simply make a list of questions and venture on in. I've had some bad experiences in traditional car dealerships and I've got friends who have had worse. So I'm looking for something a bit different. I love convenience, but a car is still a really big purchase. So I've come to stay at store in Westfield in London. You might think about buying a top or going to the cinema here, but how about a car? So how easy is it? How does the whole process work? And is it a better car buying experience? People come to this store at all stages of the car buying process. Some know exactly what they want, others just have a passing interest and some people see cars in a shopping centre and wonder how they got here. I'm interested in a say at Ibiza but I'd love to know more about what options are available. The key thing for me is that the people working here aren't salespeople. They're trained in products but they don't get commission and they're not pushy. You're welcomed into the store but if you just want to have a look around by yourself then you can. Importantly, you can take unaccompanied test drives from here, which you can book online, on one of these podiums, or with one of the staff. The store is open when all the other shops are, seven days a week, and even when it's not open, the podiums are still accessible. They've got the full range of Seat cars available to test drive in a range of trims, engines, and manual and automatic gearboxes. If you decide you like a car, you can find out how much you get for a part exchange, pay in cash, or sort out PCP finance. And if the car you like isn't in stock, you can go down the traditional factory route too. When it comes to picking up your car, you head to the experience centre downstairs. You can pick the music, have a big bow put on it, or just appreciate it looking new and shiny before you drive it away. This really is an easy, convenient and modern approach to the car buying experience. The most searched for car on the Auto Trader website is a BMW 3 Series, which just happens to be one of my favorite cars. So that's the one I'm going to be looking for today from the convenience of my office and with a hot chocolate. 
Using AutoTrader's website, I want to show you how easy it is to find a BMW 3 Series at a place near to you within 60 seconds and with transparent pricing, which means there's no need to haggle, something many of us find a bit awkward. One option is to use the configurator to build the car of your dreams using your mobile phone. This is really fun. So here's my car, and also there are 19 similar cars available for me to have a look at. Now, another way you can buy a car is online. Make BMW. Now, distance, I'll go for 50 miles from where I am because that's what most people will go for. Model, three series. Total price, now I have got a budget of 30,000 pounds, so I'll see what new cars come up for that. All that's left is to contact the dealer, but before I do that, I'd like to see what I can get for a monthly price of around, say, £500. Email the seller with my details. Job done. It's been a successful day's shopping for each of us. I found my next car without having to leave the comfort of my desk. I loved the convenience of being able to combine my car shop with my clothes shop. And I thoroughly dispelled my fear of walking onto a car supermarket forecourt and looking like an idiot. There are plenty of other ways to buy your dream car from franchise dealerships through to private sales. Just remember to do your research, ask questions and get explanations. And you can always click on our handy guide to demystify the jargon. Mm -hmm.